Hey guys, what is up? I'm going to do a Walmart and maybe a Target haul. I'm not sure, but I'm drinking strawberry kiwi juice. I hardly ever have juice. I'm not really a big juice person or a real big Coke person. I mostly like tea and coffee. Coffee and tea, that's pretty much my jam. This is good. Um, I try to have a lot of water because I tend to have a lot of coffee and coffee is a natural dehydrator. So... I try to have water, but I'm like, you know what, I want kind of kind of something a little sweet, a little switch it up. So this is Arizona Strawberry Kiwi. And then after that, I'm going to switch to ice water because that's a little too sweet for me. Believe it or not, I don't really like sweets that much. I have candy around me, but that's only just for, you know, emergencies. If I just feel like a little something, but I'm more of a savory person. And it's so funny, like, my mom's like, you lost weight. I don't try to lose weight. I'm not that person. Um, I lose weight because of the kids. The kids, I never really get to have a full meal with the boys. I have a few days off right now. Um, but usually when you have kids, you're always up and down and your food is cold. And I'm the type of person that likes to sit down and have a nice meal. And if my meal gets interrupted, I can't eat. So like if the boys will be like, Auntie, I want milk. And I'm already sitting down. And I have my food in front of me. My meal's over. Like, I'll get up, I'll get them milk, and then maybe I'll take one bite. But I'm the type of person, if I get interrupted when I'm eating, I won't finish the meal. It's not relaxing, it's not enjoyable. So, when the boys aren't around, I tend to eat a little bit more. But, um, you don't have to watch your weight when you have kids. They watch it for you. Either they eat my food... Or I just never have time to sit down and have a meal because I'm always running around. So, why did I tell you that? I don't know. I just did. So, let's show you what is in this. I'm so excited for this. I am so excited. First, this was $20. This was originally $29.88. It kept going down from, this was in the clearance section, it kept going down to like, $18 and then I'm like I'm not buying it for $18 it was originally $30 I'm not buying it for $18 then it went down to $15 I'm like yeah I don't really want it and then it finally went down to $11 so this is the na 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 surprise teen Jawsome I'm so excited for this um backstory is <laughs> this is Quinn Nash and it's all Jaws themed this was the last one there I kept going back to that Walmart and they had four on the shelf and then finally they just decided to lower this last one to $11 and there was a lady she picked it up she looked at it she put it back down and then her daughter was like mom go go back and get that and then before before her mom could go back and get it it was an older couple it was like a mom and I don't know mom and daughter they were both adults and I was like I saw the sticker price, so I bent down and I and I picked it up, and it was eleven dollars. And she's like, "Oh, I was gonna get that." And I said, "Well," and I said, "Sorry," but it's like she put it down. Don't ever put something down and think about it, and then try to go back and get it. It doesn't work that way. So, do I feel bad that I snatched this from somebody else? Not really, because she was like, "Oh yeah," and then she just put it back, and I was like, "I'm picking that up." I've been waiting for that to go on sale. So let me um, pause this and come right back at you. And you're gonna see a vlog of me talking about these slippers, but I wanna see if they fit. So these are the slippers that I got. They're not my favorite. Um, they're, they're not my favorite. Do they fit? Let's see. Oh, yep, they fit. Actually, they're a little big on me. But these are kid slippers. These are also kid slippers, but these are horrible ugly, atrocious looking slippers that need to be replaced. I normally would not get this color, but this was the only color they had and they have the real hard bottom that I like. So if I need to go check the mail or run outside really quick, um, I can. So these are the Wonder Nation. These are a four or five. Let me see what size these are. Let me see, does it even say, oh, four or five. So rather than getting the adult shoes that are like 12 bucks, I always opt to get the $7 slippers in the kids section and yeah my size my size shoe is usually a five and a half or a six um, so I can always fit into kids shoes 
And I just advise you, like, I wear these around the house. Nobody cares what my feet look like. I'm silly and funky fun anyway. So for $7.98, I'm all about that life. I am not spending 12 bucks on, on uh, slippers. See, because the less that I spend on slippers, the more that I could spend on toys and makeup. See? There you go. So, I want to show you this. I thought it was super cute. I don't know who this is going to match. This actually might be for Frank. So, this was a $2 hat. My life. Blue and coral furry hat. It's so cute. Look at that. It's so cute. I love it. It's really good quality. I don't have any hats. I didn't pick up all the hats. I didn't think they were all that. I thought some of them were cute and the other ones were like, eh. I picked up a unicorn one. Isn't this adorable? Isn't this so stinking cute? The other ones were like, they didn't feel that good of, they didn't feel, the material didn't feel that high quality. It just felt like kind of whatever, but this one is really cute. I hope it fits my girl's head. And I just, I really like it. So for $2, I thought, why not? And then I got these. These were, I think, also $2. And these will be for probably Courtney because she's more of an 80s chick who has um, headphones. So I did get these. These are really cute. I haven't seen these. These are my life. These adorable little headphones for my American Girl dolls. And then I got, I don't even know how much this was. I have no idea how much it was. But I got these cute little glasses. I really bought them for the polka dotted ones. Aren't they cute? Aren't those so adorable? And then I got these ones. These are super cute as well. These might go for Franco because he's more, a, they look more like a boy. So cute. Either or. And then I got, because I need a little hydration in my skin, so I got the Milani Skin Quench Hydrating Primer. And even when I say like, a lot of the times I tell you guys I'm coming on here with like a little to no makeup, um, I always have moisturizer on. I put a hydrating serum on my face and then a regular moisturizer. And then sometimes I just get my beauty blender and I wet it and I apply my primer with it. So, when I say I don't have makeup on, that's not always 100% true. I usually have, like, my hydrating serum, my moisturizer, and then maybe a primer just to even out my skin tone. Um, I wear makeup every single day. Some type. You know, I have redness in here and redness in here, so I do use concealer sometimes. So, by makeup, I mean, like, I don't have makeup on, like, my eyes, um... There's no eyeshadow on my eyes. There's no mascara. It's just primarily um, some face stuff. But, you know, that's pretty much what I mean when I say I don't have any makeup on. So I never come on here completely barefaced, you know, because I have, I'm have i older. I have little imperfections on my face that you don't want to see. So I cover up the redness in here and all of that. So having a really good hydrating primer, and this one has hyaluronic acid and coconut water, and I'm really excited for this because um, I needed something that had a little bit more oomph, a little bit more hydration. And oh yeah, Milani products are good. I think this was $8. I think. I'm not sure. And then I got just the basic Milani um, Tea Rose. I love this blush. It is a very pretty, soft peach not a coral it's a very soft peach and if I could open this for you I will um, let me see if I can I still don't think drugstore eyeshadows are where it's at and actually for me a drugstore eyeshadow it's kind of it's kind of difficult to like say what's drugstore and what's not nowadays Walmart is like straight up you know I probably still wouldn't buy like a Maybelline or a CoverGirl eyeshadow. I've never had good results with them. They are craptastic to me. The pigmentation's not there. They don't blend well. But as far as like a high-end brand, um, I'll still buy Too Faced. But one of the brands that I like that's not high, that's not high, uh, 
not high-end, is ColourPop. I love ColourPop. So ColourPop is a drugstore brand. It's sold at Ulta. It is not sold at Walmart, Target, Rite Aid, any of those places. ColourPop is strictly sold at Ulta, and it is a it is a step above anything that I've tried, you know, at a Walmart or a Target. I really like them. As far as drugstore stuff, there's a lot of really good drugstore stuff. I talked about this with you guys before. A lot of the makeup brands have had to get better because beauty influencers review makeup. And so they've been forced to, you know, the companies, the makeup companies have been forced to do a little better and have higher quality products out there. And with that being said, prices have gone up. So you could easily find an $18 to $20 palette at Walmart. Today, as a matter of fact, and you'll see it in my vlog, I showed the box of crayons eyeshadow palette. That's a $24 palette being sold at Walmart. So there are a lot of products at Walmart that equal the high-end brand price. ColourPop is always, you know, maybe 20 bucks for an eyeshadow palette. It varies. So as far as drugstore eyeshadow, um, like Walmart eyeshadow, Target, I don't buy CoverGirl. You will not see me wearing um, Maybelline. I, no. I think they still suck when it comes to eyeshadows. The eyeshadow brands that I like are ColourPop, um, Revolution Makeup. I like them. Revolution Makeup is now actually sold at Target. So there's so many good brands out there that are drugstore brands because they've been forced to do better. Back in the day, I stayed away from drugstore makeup because it just wasn't good. Now it is so much better because they are being held accountable by beauty influencers. So, this is the Milani. I think this was like 8 bucks, 9 bucks. I've been buying this for years. I really, really like it. And it's just a really, really pretty, soft, natural color. You know? I actually apply this first, and then I do my uh, foundation or my tinted moisturizer. And it just peeks out through the foundation. So, I put this on before I do anything else. I put my primer on. Then I put my blush and I use a heavy hand on the blush, and then I apply my tinted moisturizer or foundation. I rarely ever wear foundation. I usually wear tinted moisturizer, which just evens out your skin tone. It doesn't cover up your imperfections. So, this one is supposed to be comparable to the Milk products that are sold at Sephora, and it is the Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. So I am excited for this, and let's see if I can open this. So I heard really, really good reviews about this. I use different makeup for different types of things. So say for instance, this would be a filming day. If I want to have some moisture to my skin, this would be, you know, for adding to my face when I'm just going to be at home. This would be more for if I'm going out around town and I want my makeup to stick to my face and just make my makeup last a little bit longer underneath my mask. I tend not to wear makeup with my mask. It really will jack up your face. So I try really hard not to do that. Um, if I do, I'll put like concealer right here and right here. And the bottom of my face will not have anything on it. Because I, I'm really paranoid about getting my skin messed up and clogged and just breaking out so I try really hard not to wear makeup with my mask oh and it just looks like this I want to see what it feels like this little sticky thing is on me but I want to see what this feels like this was eight dollars oh yeah Ooh. oh this is gonna feel good on my face Ooh, that's gonna feel really good I do have eczema prone skin, but I usually have a serum, my moisturizer, and then this goes on top, so I don't think it'll hurt my face too, too much. So I'm excited for this. Ooh, and it is cooling. So those are exciting. Ooh. Yeah, I can see it's a little sticky, so that will make your makeup stay on your face a little bit longer. So what I've been looking for for a really long time was this breakfast pack of lip balms. So these are 10 flavored lip balms and they are by General Mills 
by the brand Taste Beauty. So I just like these for a little bit of moisture. I mean, they're not gonna add, you know, they're not like shea butter or anything, but they're just enough. So they look like this. They are in the makeup section and I'm gonna open them up for you. But yeah, they're not gonna give you any moisture. Like I'll throw this in my purse and after I've had my mask on, I'll rehydrate my lips because the mask dries out everything. And sometimes with these lip balms, I actually will have one in my purse for my nephews. So these are pretty neutral. They're not going to uh, stain their lips with color. So I do like to have these for my nephews because um, they do get trapped lips. And they just need a little bit of something. They don't need like high moisturization. Oh, shoot. 